So obviously I will be talking more about this in the very near future when I get to Revelation 20, but there seems to be a lot of confusion about the first resurrection and the rapture. And I guess I fail to understand why people would try to link those two things together. The first resurrection ever was Christ. We learned that in 1 Corinthians 15. The first group resurrection after Christ was not the rapture. It was Matthew 27, 52, and 53. The first resurrection in Revelation 20 is not even the first resurrection mentioned outright in the book of Revelation. It's the two witnesses in Revelation 11. And specifically, when it is described what the first resurrection is, it tells you it's martyrs, those who died under seal five. Not those who were just in Christ and died. It's literally those who died for their faith in the 70th week under seal five. And those who got victory over the beast, over his image, and over the number of his name. Um, and that's not even to mention the fact that it comes after Satan being sealed in the bottomless pit shut up where he's going to be for a thousand years which is after Armageddon which is after Jesus comes back to tread the wine press and fierceness of uh, and wrath of Almighty God which is after the saints are seen returning with him in Revelation 19 14 so to take the first resurrection out of sequence of events and say it's the rapture is is false it is the first of two mentioned in Revelation 20 you know first and second the first resurrection is a resurrection to life pre-kingdom so that those who are resurrected can rule and reign with Christ also as overcomers. Uh, promised in the letter to the church of Thyatira, all overcomers in the present dispensation and in the next, which are those who die for their faith, are going to share the rule with Christ for a thousand years. And the second resurrection in the chapter, because you know if there's a first, there has to be a second, so naturally there would be a second in the same chapter. It's a resurrection to death, not to life. So the connotation with the word resurrection is that it's to life. So if people are being risen to death, it's called the second death rather than the second resurrection. But there is absolutely no reason why anyone should ever link the rapture of the church with the first resurrection. They're two entirely different things with two entirely different contexts. To say that it's the first resurrection, we imply that it means the first after Christ. That's not accurate. It's the first of two listed in one chapter, and they regard two different groups of people two different times. Neither one of us have anything, neither one of them have anything to do with us.